Hey everybody, uh, my name is Chris from CMRV. Uh, today I'm gonna do something a little different. Instead of doing a walk around on a unit, I'm gonna highlight a feature as more of a, a how-to video. So what I'm gonna talk about today is the in-command center. Uh, this feature is going to be on all of our Cougar products. Uh, it's gonna be on all of our Montana uh, fifth wheels with legacy package. Uh, also all of our Raptor fifth wheel toy haulers and uh, carbon fifth wheel toy haulers. So all of our keystone lines uh, and those segments I touched on will have this feature. It's very cool and I'm gonna walk up here and show you how this works. So instead of a standard panel with your buttons and your switches, this gives you a touch screen system. This is an Android software here uh, to run everything on your unit. So I'm gonna show you how to hook it up and kind of how it works. So first off, I gotta get into the system here and pair it to the phone. So in the settings, you're gonna go to Bluetooth and pairing. And so it's in that mode. It will show on your phone. You click it in the Bluetooth section there. And then it'll come up with a number there. You pair on the screen, pair on your phone. And now I'm paired. So now I'm gonna open the app, and the app will show me I'm connecting to this particular floor plan. It synchronizes the floor plan, and in just a few moments here, it's gonna allow me to access everything I could on the main screen here remotely from my phone. Okay, all right, so there you go. Now I can hit back to home on the main screen here, but I'll just kind of compare both of them. So, you know, on here you have tank levels. On your phone, it shows it as that icon and you enter in and it will show you how full your fresh tank, your black tank, your gray tank is. And then you can hit home and go back to other areas such as battery. Um, now on the, the unit screen, the tanks are just right above here. You don't actually don't enter in anything. It will just show you, and as it fills up, a blue line will fill in that area, telling you how full it is. So this unit has, if it has generator prep, it will have this option already in the software. So if you do choose to add a generator in a Montana Legacy, our Raptor toy haulers, our carbon toy haulers, all those Keystone products with that, will have this on there. So you can control your generator right from there or better yet, remotely from your screen. So you have light options right there. Your water being your water pump and your water heater. Now when you hit water heater, these uh, Keystone lines have gas and electric hot water heaters. So you can choose right from here if you want gas electric or you can do both either way. Now your awnings, which I'll demonstrate that working on the outside and the awning light, they got a nice LED light strip underneath there. Uh, the big thing is your slides. So that's a really nice practical feature of this because if you're setting it up with just one person, instead of having one person inside here, your, your other half is outside and you're pressing a button waiting for them to yell at you if you're about to hit a tree, you can stand right outside right with your phone and just watch it go in and out and it turns a two person job into a one person job. So furthermore, when you're dumping your tanks and you're filling water into your black tank flush to flush out that toilet tank, you don't need to have someone standing in here watching that gauge fill up. You can also be right outside as soon as it gets full, stop that water flow so you don't back it up through the toilet. So really nice ways to save time. The other person can do whatever else they want while one person can really set up the unit much more easily. So, you know, and again, back here, as I go into here, it has a hitch uh, uh, control on this particular unit. So you can uh, move the front jacks up and down. Um, not much of a practical use to do from the screen, but from your phone it might be if you're hooking up the truck to the fifth wheel hitch as opposed to standing on the side of the unit. Both are pretty easy. So that, that's kind of a basic rundown here. You know, it's, again, the, the buttons are a little different on the phone compared to the, the screen. Um, and here, if you turn the water pump on, it lights up a blue circle or rather a blue square right around it. And same thing with hot water heater 
again, goes right into a screen where you can direct how you want um, that water heater to run, whether it be gas, electric, or both. Um, so so that, that's a kind of a basic rundown of it. So uh, before I go outside, I can kind of demonstrate. So your interior lights here, right from the phone, I can hit these on and off right there. So it takes a second to register and then, and you can even separate different areas such as kitchen or living room and you can turn them on and off depending on which ones you want on or off. Now the lights that are underneath slide outs, underneath cabinetry, these will all be their own push buttons. So any of those you manually push, but anything that's in the center of the unit in the mainframe under the ceiling, you can control remotely from the phone or from the in-command touchscreen center. So that's how it works on the inside. We're gonna go outside and we'll show you a couple quick things out there and something that they do pretty cool as a backup for this, for this feature. All right, so to demonstrate a couple of things outside the unit, so I'm gonna put the awning out. For example, you're sitting out here, you're at your campsite, and all of a sudden clouds start to roll in and it's gonna rain, but you're nice and comfortable in your chair. You can stay right where you're put and just hold the button as your awning comes out. So as we push that out, uh, it will come in and out as you desire. Underneath there, you can flip your awning light on to brighten up your campsite. So very nice, very easy to use. Um, as we come inside here, this is a very cool feature. You might be wondering, well, what, what, if, what if that doesn't work? What if that software fails? What if my phone dies? Well, no worries. They have a backup system in here so you don't get stranded anywhere. So I'm just gonna show you that really quick. So you undo these couple of uh, knobs here, pull this panel off. And then as you can see, you have all the electrical components of this right back here. Now, right here, you have a couple of knobs and a couple of in and out on off switches that make sure that you don't get stuck anywhere. So you can get your slides in and all that. Um, but it's a, a peace of mind to have that as a backup. And that's basically how that works. That's the in-command center on Keystone products. Again, our Cougars are gonna have that. Our Montana's with legacy package. The Raptor and Carbon toy haulers will all have that. So my name is Chris, come down to CME RV and take a look.